Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Um, we're just gonna sit and put some makeup on. Um, I have a few new things both that I purchased myself and some stuff that was sent to me. So I thought we'd just kind of play around with some makeup today, very chill, very casual. I kind of liked the setup from my last video. So I figured we'd just kind of sit here today and you know, just hang out and chat about makeup. So if you would like to, make sure you grab your makeup if you want to get ready with me, do your makeup while I'm doing mine. And then as always, make sure you grab something to drink or a snack. I've got some iced coffee. I just put my four-year-old down for a nap. Hopefully he stays down. So um, fingers crossed. Let's go ahead and get into it. Cheers. All right, I do have my AC on and the vent is right here so if it's a little loud i'm sorry i'm gonna test it out in this video if it's terrible i will uh not have it on in future videos where i'm sitting right here but it's quite toasty today so i'm gonna prep my skin with one of my new favorite products i've already done a video not dedicated to this but i've definitely talked about this in detail and it is the new lila b a glow golden priming oil if you have not seen the video where i talk about this definitely check that out i will link it above and down below but i can finally like freely talk about it um and i'm obsessed with this it's so so beautiful um so i'm just gonna do i'm gonna do two pumps of this um i applied moisturizer gosh around seven this morning um, it's about noon, so it's been a little bit. So this is a nice little refresh. And it just gives my skin such a nice glow. Moisturizes it. So beautiful. Just makes my skin look super juicy and glowy and bronzed. And this is such a great product for just no makeup days because it gives a little bit of warmth, a little hint of color. Um, but yeah, and you don't feel like, I, I don't feel like I have to wear makeup when I wear this. It just already makes my skin look really, really pretty. But we are going to be doing foundation today. And I thought I would pull out the new Lawless Conceal the Deal foundation again and just play with this again today. I've done a full review and wear test on this, so definitely check that out if you haven't seen it already. I loved it in my wear test. It wore beautifully. And while this is a more matte foundation it's marketed as a matte foundation it's actually quite it was quite glowy on me so yeah i thoroughly enjoyed it i'm going to use the shade fawn which is the shade i used in my wear test you definitely want to give this a good shake i'm going to dispense it on the back of my hand first and if you're trying to pick a shade, I would say um, this shade is a little light for me. So if you typically are around my skin tone or you use my my shade to kind of help you pick a shade, this shade is a little light. So um, I would say definitely uh, go a few shades, you know, one or two shades deeper um, just for reference. But I'm taking this on a Youngblood YB3 brush. It's a little bit more dense than the lawless foundation brush that i used in the review i want to see just how it works with a brush like this such a beautiful foundation it's so easy to apply it just looks so good on the skin and then i actually wanted to mention um i was at the grocery store this morning my four-year-old loves to go to the grocery store because um, the one we go to, they have like little mini buggies. So he loves to push the buggy around the store. Anyway, not relevant at all. Um, but I picked up another shade of the Alme Smart Shade Skin Tone Matching Makeup. I use the shade medium, but I wanted a shade that I could use when I'm not self-tanned or I just don't have as much color to my skin. So I picked up light medium. They do have a light and then they have a fair. Um, but yeah, I've been using medium, but I have not been self tanning as regularly. So I wanted something to use when I'm not self tanned. So yeah, I picked that up. I love this product so much, so, so much. Um, but just wanted to mention that. So for concealer, I actually have two. 
Um, one of these I've had for a really long time and I just don't use it. I think I maybe use this once, maybe. I don't even remember if I've actually like fully used this, but I've just had this sitting in my drawer. So I thought I might try this out today. This is the Jordana Take Cover Full Coverage Concealer. I picked this up at Walgreens. Oh my gosh, it was so long ago. Um, I don't know why I haven't used this. And then the other day when I was at Target, um, I wanted to try this out. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage conceal and contour i've heard really good things about this i've also heard good things about their foundation that looks like this um but i don't know if i got the right shade it's always such a struggle to find the right shade so depending on how this looks on me i may want to i may go for the jordana one i really want to try the makeup revolution one though so i got this in the shade c7 i think they have a hydrating version as well which is probably the one i should have gotten um, but we're just going to try this one out today. Uh, so I'm just going to apply a tiny bit. I don't know how much I will need. I'm just going to start with that. And I'm just going to use my finger to pat it out. I am not a huge fan of full coverage foundations from day to day, but I love a good full coverage concealer. Because I feel like when you have a full coverage concealer, you honestly just don't need a lot of coverage with your foundation. So I feel like I love using a full coverage concealer to get all the work done that I need done. And I don't have to wear it all over my face. Alright, that's beautiful. It reminds me a lot of the e.l.f. hydrating camo concealer. Like, I don't think this is really that matte. It's actually quite nice. So I'm gonna use this to correct any spots, kind of around my nose, a little bit on my cheek. Honestly, I could probably mix this one with my Juvia's Place concealer that I got that was too dark, and that would probably be a really pretty combo. And I need to try this concealer with the Super Dewy Skin Tint by Makeup Revolution. I think that would be a really nice combo as well. Right, so the base is looking fantastic. I love the way everything looks so far. And yeah, I've just been really enjoying this Lawless foundation. So definitely check out my review if you're interested. If you're looking for a new foundation or you just want to know more about this one, definitely check out that review. Um, but yeah, this is lovely. And then of course my Lila B Priming Oil is just absolutely stunning so yeah really pretty base today i have no complaints whatsoever all right so i got some products from from persona which is really exciting i haven't tried anything new from persona in a really long time um i have her uh edit 2 eyeshadow palette i can't remember the exact name of it but it was her second one um but i haven't tried anything since then so uh i have her bronze multi-stick i'm so excited to try this um i've heard amazing amazing things about this product I actually have not heard one negative thing about it so i'm really excited to try it y'all know i love a good cream bronzer everyone and their mother is coming out with cream bronzers right now whether they're in compacts or sticks so i'm curious to see how this one compares to other ones but i like that it's matte i prefer a stick cream bronzer to be matte rather than shimmery um i don't know i just feel like with the way it's shaped and everything i don't know i prefer it to be matte Anyway, I got the shade Dune, which is the lightest shade. And so that's what Dune looks like. Very smooth, very creamy. Um, looks like a really, really pretty formula and pretty color. I'm gonna take it up to my forehead. It's definitely on the warmer side, which is totally fine. I love a good warm bronzer. And I'm actually gonna use the Lawless Foundation Brush to blend this out. Oh, that's really nice. It reminds me of the Makeup by Mario sculpting stick, but almost maybe a little bit easier to blend out. That one's really easy to blend out, but I feel like this one, I mean, that was like no, no work whatsoever. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Gorgeous. No effort whatsoever. It's definitely warm. 
um, definitely more of a bronzer shade. I wouldn't um, say this is like a great contour shade, at least this one. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit down my nose, around my jaw. All right, yeah, that's absolutely stunning. Love that. So I don't have a new powder, so I'm just gonna take my Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I haven't used this in a little bit, and I just saw it in my drawer and I picked it. So, um, um, where's my brush? All right, so like I mentioned, I have a new bronzer. Actually, I have two new bronzers, um, but I think I'm gonna use the more shimmery one today. So I have the NYX Matte Bronzer. This is in the shade Medium. This was actually a gift with purchase. Uh, when did I do my last Ulta haul or Ulta purchase? I can't remember, but NYX was having like a promo where if you purchased um, however much, you got a bronzer and then one of their blushes. So they sent me this bronzer with my order. Um, so yeah, have this, have never tried it. I've actually always wanted to try their matte bronzer. This shade looks quite deep for me. Um, but I think I'm going to save this for another time because I really want to try this one. This one I picked up this morning at my grocery store as well. And this is the Flower Beauty Heat Wave Luminous Bronzer. And this is in the shade Sunswept. This is the lighter of the two. And this one I've also heard really great things about. So I wanted to try it. And when I was, I've already swatched it. Um, and when I was kind of swatching it and feeling it, I was like, oh, oh, I think we have found a dupe. So I went into my collection and I pulled out my Kosas Baked Bronzer because these look so incredibly similar. I don't know if you can see. All right, so this is the Flower Beauty Heat Wave Bronzer in Sunswept. This is the Kosas Baked Bronzer in Light. The formula and finish is identical. The shades are a little bit different. I feel like the Kosas one has a little bit more peachiness to it, but wow. Wow, wow, wow. I bet on the skin you won't even be able to tell a difference. So we're gonna try the Flower Beauty one today. I'm so excited to try this. Um, and this will be such a nice little find if it actually does look really similar on the skin. So I'm just going to take it on this hourglass double-ended brush. Yeah, that's, that's stunning. I love the shade. I love the sheen. Really, really pretty bronzer. This is definitely like my kind of bronzer. I love a good matte cream bronzer with a shimmery bronzer like this on top mm, so beautiful yeah this is beautiful this is beautiful and if you've been wanting to try the kosas one but don't want to pay for it um definitely try out the flower beauty now kosas has three shades flower beauty only has two i don't really know what the other shade of this looks like um but yeah that is stunning. What a nice find from the drugstore. All right, so y'all know one of my favorite blush formulas from the drugstore are the Burt's Bees blushes. So I had to pick up another shade. I've actually wanted to try this shade for years. I used to hear Kathleen Lights talk about this shade all the time. So when I was at my grocery store this morning, I picked it up. This is the Burt's Bees blush in Toasted Cinnamon. I usually use Bare Peach. Um, but I really wanted to try this one. I love a good bronzy blush. So we're going to try this out today. It looks like it has a little bit of a sheen to it. Um, but it doesn't look overly shimmery. So I'm going to take the other end of that hourglass brush and just pop that right on the cheek. These Burt's Bees blushes and the Almay Healthy Hue blushes. Those are my current favorite drugstore blushes. They're so good. All right, so this is the Flower Beauty Heat Wave Bronzer. This is the Kosas Baked Bronzer. And this is the Burt's Bees Toasted Cinnamon Blush. So they all look so, so similar. This honestly could be used as a bronzer if you have a more fair to light skin tone. Like I could totally use this as a blush and bronzer which might, I might have to do that next time. But yeah, that's really pretty. 
So I don't have a new highlighter, so I thought I would just use a little bit of my Ilia uh, Daylight Highlighting Powder in decades. I actually don't feel like I really need highlight. My skin is pretty glowy, but I just want a tiny little bit like right in this outer corner. Just right here on the outer corner of my eye. I honestly haven't been wearing a lot of highlighter lately. Just because it's been so hot, I don't feel like I need to. And I feel like the products that I'm already using have so much glow to them. Um, so yeah, I just haven't even been wearing highlighter a lot lately. Um, really the only time I wear it is when I'm filming. Because I'm usually taking my makeup off right afterwards. So... All right, so that's it for the face. I'm gonna go and try this Lawless Glam Guard Longwear Setting Spray again. I used this in my review. I didn't notice a difference initially applying it. It could have helped with the wear of my makeup. It was hard to tell if this spray was actually making my makeup last longer um, or if it was just the foundation. So I'm gonna try this again today. All right, so for the eyes. I have a couple new products. Um, while I was at the grocery store this morning, perusing the Burt's Bees section, I picked up one of their cream shadows. I've been really wanting to try these. Um, so I got the shade Rose Cream, which looks like this. They were a little bit picked over, so I don't know how many shades they have or the range that they have. Um, but yeah, this one looked like the most appealing to me. So if I really like it, I'll definitely pick up some more shades, but I thought we'd try this out today. And then my sweet Noah, um, he picked this out for me. So I thought we'd try this today and this, I've actually never tried anything from the brand. So I was actually kind of excited that he found this and picked it out for me, but this is the Koki artist palette in the shade Utopia. The packaging is actually really pretty. Again, I've never tried anything from Koki. What a cool color story. So they had a few different options. I laid them out and I let him pick which one he wanted. And he picked this one, which I was actually really happy because this is the color story that I personally gravitated towards. Um, so I don't know if we'll play with the color today. Um, I'll probably stick with more of these neutral shades, but I will definitely play with the color in here. Um, but today I think we're just going to get a sense for the formula and I want to try out this kind of rosy cream shadow. So let's go ahead and do that first. Um, oh, and actually I have a new brow product that I want to try as well. So, um, sorry, I'm all over the place. I've already done my brows but I wanted to use this brow gel by Persona. This is her new swipe up, right? Yeah, swipe up brow gel. I love the packaging on her products. So sleek and modern. And this is what the applicator looks like. I've actually heard really good things about this as well. Um, this is in the shade brown. So let's go ahead and try this. Wow, so this is actually really nice. Um, it's got some grip to it, which I like because I feel like a lot of tinted brow gels don't have enough grip. I feel like they just throw a lot of product in the brows and they don't really do anything in terms of hold. But this is actually like gripping onto the brows like the brush it's not too small i don't like when the brushes are too too small but it's also you know small enough to where if you have more sparse brows you're not just gonna be like making a mess all over your brows Ooh, that's really really nice it's actually brushing my hairs up and there's a stickiness to it in the best way possible there's a stickiness to it to where it's actually holding them in place so I will definitely keep testing this out, see how it wears throughout the day. Um, but yeah, wow, that's actually nice. I'm not a huge um, tinted brow gel person. I much prefer a clear brow gel or something that's really going to hold my brows in place rather than give color. But this actually kind of does both. Alright, so that's... Hello. That's the shade Rose. 
yeah very very sheer has kind of like a moussey consistency and I feel like it almost dries down a little powdery it's very very sheer which would be nice to just kind of throw on the lids if you just want something a little shimmery all right so let's dig into this eyeshadow palette so this is the Koki artist eyeshadow palette in Utopia and again I'm just gonna probably stick to more of these neutral tones um, but I'll play with color maybe in another video if I really like the formula so I'm gonna start with this shade over here it's nice peach this is called bliss and I'm just gonna run this through my crease I'm gonna be totally honest the eye look is probably gonna be super boring <laughs> I'm gonna take this on my lower lash line as well right, so I'm gonna go into this shade which is a little bit deeper this is the shade Utopia. I'm going to take it on that same brush. This is a Sigma Beauty Bird Dream Fluffy Blend Brush. And I'm just going to pop this in the outer corner. And then just kind of bring it through the crease. Really nice formula. It's pigmented, but it's not overly pigmented. So you don't have to work so hard at blending. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this shade, oops, hello, this one, which is Dreamland, quite icy. Ooh, I don't know if I want to use that. That's very, very icy. I'm going to take a little bit of my flower bronzer on that same fluffy brush. I'm going to apply this first. I don't want this to be too icy. All right, and then I'm going to take Dreamland, just a little bit on my finger, and just pat that on the center. Not my favorite shimmer formula. It's a little dry. Not as glossy as I like it. It's a little bit more of like a drier shimmer. I'm actually going to take a little bit of... What is this? Ecstasy. This one right here. It's kind of cream shade. Like cool cream shade. And I'm just going to run that right along my brow bone. Alright, so this is what the eye makeup looks like. Like I said, pretty boring. But I like the formula. It's nice. All right, I kind of want to, I need to jazz this up a little bit. This is really boring to me. I'm going to take so the two blues in the palette. I kind of want to do liner. All right, I'm going to use the dark blue color, which is called Nirvana. It's this one right here. I'm going to take a little bit of my Lawless spray. Probably not the best spray for this, but it's really the only one I have right now in front of me. I'm going to dip my brush into that eyeshadow. See if I can do a little bit of liner with this. This shade actually works really well as liner. I'm going to take this deeper shade that I used, uh, this is Utopia, and I'm going to work that into my lower lash line all the way across. All right, and since we're just having fun here, I'm going to take this other shimmery blue shade, which is Eden. This shade, Paradise, looks incredible. It's this gorgeous periwinkle, so I'll definitely play with that in another video. And this brush is dry, and I'm just going to pop that in my inner corner. All right, that's much better. I'm much more content with this eye look. I just felt like it was way too boring before. So I'm gonna go ahead, curl my lashes, apply some mascara. I don't have a new mascara, but I'll tell you which one I used when I come back. And then I have um, a couple new lip products from Persona as well that I'm super excited to try out. So I'm gonna do mascara, I'll be right back. All right, mascara is done. I just used my Ilia Fullest volumizing mascara and then I also applied a little bit of this Bare Minerals Mineralist Eyeliner in Copper just in my waterline but that's it and then we're going to move on to the lips so I have two new lip products from Persona I have her lip liner which I've always wanted to try this as well and uh, one of her matte liquid lips I have two of her glosses they are amazing I've actually used up one of them completely um, but yeah, so I'm a huge fan of her glosses, but I've never tried any of her other lip products So I'm gonna do the liquid lip first and then do liner. It's just like I that's just how I like to do it um, So this is in the shade OG Same packaging as the glosses 
shade looks gorgeous looks right up my alley a warm nude has a little indentation so um to hug your lip so we'll see how that goes all right let me wipe off my lip balm it's very very thin which I like. I don't like when liquid lips are too thick because then it feels like there's paint on my lips. So this is really thin. It smells really good too. It has like a maybe vanilla. It's vanilla or some kind of like sweet scent. Love the feel of it on the lips and I love this color. Such a pretty color. It is so hard to find warm nudes that are almost a little bit on the yellow or like brown side and this is so perfect and it is already completely dried down matte oh my gosh i love this shade again this is og wow that's really good okay feels really comfortable and then i'm going to take her lip liner um i got this in the shade almond and i love the packaging that it came in it came in this little like I don't know what you call this, but I thought it was really cool packaging. Um, so this is what the lip liner looks like next to the liquid lip. So this is OG, and then this is her lip pencil and almond. What a pretty combo. Those colors together are perfect. So perfect. This eye, uh, lip liner is super creamy. Um, does it have any information on here? Nope, just lip liner. Wow, that's nice. All right, guys, that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed just hanging out with me today, talking about some makeup, and I definitely need to do these more kind of chill, just let's just put some makeup on, chat, have a little girl time. I need to do these videos more often. Um, this was so fun. There were some great, great products today, great discoveries. Um, this lip combo, I'm like still like, I can't get off the lip combo. So, so pretty. And the Flower Beauty bronzer was such a nice find, a great dupe for the Kosas Baked bronzer, which is one of my holy grail favorite bronzers, but obviously if you can save some cash, that's always a great thing. So I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. Thank you so much for being here and for supporting me and always leaving just the loveliest comments. I love when y'all send me messages and leave me comments and I just love hearing from y'all. So thank you so much for your continued support. I always appreciate y'all. Uh, remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.